Hello y'all. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm gonna just go ahead and get this part. Bless you. You okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get this part out of the way. Mama, uh, hold on. What's yeah. that and Honestly, I don't really have it in me right now to go into a bunch of detail and talk about it too much because I'm still just super <laughs> emotional about it and uh, I cry about it still every single day and multiple times a day and I just can't really go there but I posted about it on Instagram so if you follow me on Instagram then you probably already know and I'm sorry if it seemed like I'm being kind of heartless or matter of fact I just it's one of those things that I feel like I can't continue on vlogging and not tell you guys happened but it's also something I'm just well honestly we're all just a little bit traumatized and I just am not like ready to sit down and go into a bunch of detail so the long and short of it is is that our ducks were attacked um, earlier this week uh, and Fern was killed um, so was Violet as well as one of the big white ducks if y'all remember um, them the ones that we got in the spring or I'm sorry the the summer fall of last year and um, and then a number of them were injured and uh, my mom and I took the injured ones to an emergency vet and uh, there were some that were you know hopefully going to survive that we've been treating with antibiotics and uh, wound care and pain medicine and then and then unfortunately, one of the ones that was not able to make it was Poppy. Uh, so she um, had, her, her injuries were too extensive. They weren't survivable for her. So we had to have her put down. And it was just, the whole day honestly was just really traumatic for the kids and for us and the cleanup after and the care after for the the surviving ducks who are maimed you know there were three that were unharmed but they're traumatized as well and if you have ducks or if you know anything about ducks then you know that they are obviously they're birds right so birds are are very fragile and they can die just from stress and trump like from the stress of a traumatic event as well so we've been kind of holding our breath not knowing if the ones who were injured and on medication and the ones who were uninjured like if they were even going to survive because sometimes they don't oh hold on my door anyway so we've had to turn one half of the garage into kind of I guess what you would call like a duck ICU um, we've got a big whiteboard in there where we're tracking medications uh, Daisy who is if you all remember we had Violet and Daisy the sisters that were the fawn runners the white and fawn runner ducks um, they uh, Violet was killed and go ahead Violet was killed and Daisy was pretty severely injured uh, So she's been the one that we've been watching the closest because she had large chunks of Flesh and she had some pretty gnarly looking wounds. So I think she's gonna be okay uh, But we're just not a hundred percent, you know, she's finally started standing up. She couldn't stand up or walk so it's just yeah, I, I said I wasn't going to go into a bunch of detail, but um, it's been really tough. It's been tough on me. It's been tough on the kids. There's a lot of emotions and feelings that come when something like this happens. Uh, questioning, you know, everything that you've done and, you know, decisions that you did or didn't make and things you did or didn't do or could have done differently. Uh, but at the end of the day, we're trying really hard to uh, learn what we can from this and that's a huge part of you know the farm life and lots of people have said it before in the comments who have either you know lived on some kind of a farm before or know people who have and stuff but where there's livestock there's dead stock is kind of an expression and it sounds kind of harsh but uh, you know it is true um, and it's just it's tough it's tough to deal with and wrapping my head around us keeping prey animals and what that means when you keep prey animals there are predators who rely on these animals for survival for their own survival and so my instincts to be so angry and want to um, you know go <laughs> down this animal myself and 
uh, I have to like keep perspective that Oh, by the way, I, I didn't say on Instagram, and I should have said, we, we're not 100% certain, but uh, my guess and the vet agreed, and based on the circumstances, the scene, how, how it was done, and all of that kind of stuff, um, is that it was a fox. Here in South Carolina, we have red foxes and gray foxes, though our gray foxes outnumber red ones like three to one. Um, and yeah, so anyways, that's what, that's what I think that it was, that's what we think that it was. And you know, the kind of unfortunate or kind of scary part about it now is that once a predator like that uh, finds you, finds your, your animals, finds the prey, finds where it can get food, it's gonna come back. Um, and you know, there's a lot I could go into to explain like why I think it attacked the day that it did. There's a lot of circumstances that actually I feel like uh, it was like a convergence of things that had been different than they normally were that I think opened the door. But I think, you know, foxes are super smart. They usually watch you, study you. Uh, they know your schedule better than you do sometimes. They know when they can do, when they can try these things. They're really sly. They're very hard to catch. If, you know, if we wanted to set out like a, have a heart trap and do something like that, like they're just, they're really hard to catch. Uh, but they're very smart, and uh, she will be back, or he. I, I, I have it in my head that it's a mo it's a female fox, and she's got a den near us, and she's taking this back for her. I, you know, I don't know if, if fox babies are called pups or kits. I'm not really sure, but for her babies in her nest. That's what I have it in my head. Um, so anyways, we are taking further security measures. Uh, doing things differently and trying to change some things and um, also at the same time just mourning the loss of you know some of our pets some of our cherished pets I can't if I start talking about it I'm gonna start crying and I really really don't want to not because I think there's anything wrong with crying online I just don't I just don't like to do it okay I just don't um, but the loss of specifically Fern and Poppy in this have been has been really hard for me, really hard for me, surprisingly hard for me, that not that I didn't see it coming, I knew I, you know, I knew something like this would be hard or sad. I just never, <laughs> never expected or was very emotionally unprepared for it to be as hard on me as it has been. Um, that's, that's honestly been part of the hardness of the last week is like trying to understand my own emotions around this and like, Gosh, why is this affecting me so much? Um, anyways, so that um, is not a happy update, and I'm really sorry that I hope that it doesn't, you know, th there were so many, so many kind messages and comments on my Instagram post, and so many of y'all who've come to love some of these animals and their personalities, and you know, Fern, my goofy little Fern, my little blind and deaf, silly little Fern, spinning circles in his pool. Um, you know, y'all have, have come to, to care about and uh, enjoy some of these animals and their personalities, Lottie and such. So I know that me sharing that, I, it, it, there was a lot of y'all who were really sad and you were like, oh my gosh, I'm sitting here at my desk crying or I'm, you know, and I always feel, I feel bad. I don't want to do that. You know, I try really hard for the things that I share to be as uplifting as they can be and, you know, kind of just silly and fun and light. I guess light would be the best way. Like, I like to share with you the mistakes I make and the dumb things I do and that kind of thing. But I just, I don't want you to leave my channel feeling heavy and tired and sad. Um, so I, I feel bad when I have to share this kind of stuff, like, with you guys because... I don't want to make your day any worse. So, so um, we are getting a bunch of outdoor. Uh, wrong foot. We're getting a bunch of outdoor things done today. It is a nice. Oops, sorry. I meant I had the wrong foot, not you. <laughs> uh, it is a nice sunny day. I think it's supposed to be 80 degrees once it warms up. Um, I did some work in my garden yesterday, and. Um, I'm getting that ready uh, for planting because it could have been planted and the plan was to plant it earlier this week, my upper garden and my, my backyard garden, despite the fact that I've completed them, I've planted nothing uh, because my plan was to plant this week, earlier in the week, and then this happened. And so I have just been, we've had to switch focus to animal care. And, Ivy, can you shut the door for me, honey? 
thank you. Um, switch focus to animal enclosure changes, moving animals around, that sort of thing. Uh, Grand Nana has gone home, which is always hard and sad for everybody. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of the plan for today. I'm going to try to find, <laughs> I'm going to try my darndest to uh, make whatever's left of this vlog uh, happy, cheerful in some way. Uh, something that will hopefully leave you guys feeling I don't know. I, I mean, I realize it's kind of like one of those bittersweet things, but you know, Fern and Poppy specifically were, they were special. They were special and um, they will be greatly missed. Um, but man, were they sure fun and loved so much while they were here. I know people have a lot of different views about whether or not uh, our pets go to heaven. And I don't have the answer to that, but I, I sure hope they do. All right, well, my dad just turned on the lawnmower, so the sound on this is going to be super annoying if I don't wrap it up. So let's go. Let's vlog the rest of the day. No more crying, no more sadness. I promise. Um, try to make the rest of this video happy. Girl, I think it's time I let you go. Writing songs about you is getting old I can't see your face anymore Oh, the Hi, love mommy. I once adored I'm now wondering I know there's someone to make you happy instead But the love we fight for It's tucked away Hidden in storm But I'll keep you safe Locked inside My chest Safe from the lovers that all right, well, this vlog went a little bit off the uh, off the rails, and um, I got a bit consumed with all the projects we have going on. Ciara has been helping Kennedy build her uh, enclosure for Dart, her lizard. I can't remember what kind. Oh, there's actual dirt on my face. I feel it. Okay, well, that's going to be it for today's video. Fortunately or unfortunately, however you'd like to look at it. Uh, it's time to make dinner and get everybody cleaned up and off to bed. Next vlog, hopefully nothing sad. No sad news in the next vlog. <laughs> hopefully only just good news. Hopefully by the next vlog I'll be able to uh, show you guys the ducks and everybody will be healed up and they'll be back in their normal living space and out of the duck ICU. Uh, I don't really want to like show them on camera. I, I don't know, I just don't want to like post pictures and stuff of them looking all gnarly. I just some people are super sensitive to that kind of thing and it grosses them out and also I don't know I just feel weird about it so anyways that's gonna be it for today's video y'all uh, again I just want to say a very heartfelt thank you and appreciation for all of your kind words comments messages on my Instagram post uh, because they really they really did mean a lot um, and they do mean a lot so I'm very grateful for that and uh, yeah Life is full of many, many wonderful and beautiful things, but also many hard things. And while, you know, we, we don't share every little thing, good or bad, that goes on in our lives, this is just kind of one of those things I feel like as we share, you know, what it's like to have this kind of hobby farm, it's important for me to make sure that I'm sharing with you guys that it's not all fun and, you know, projects and you know, that kind of thing, like the projects fail and animals die and it's just, you know, there's hard stuff. And I won't lie, I've had a number of moments <laughs> in the last few days that I've been like, I just want to go back to North Carolina and live in my house in a neighborhood and not have any of this stuff ever happen because it's, that's, it's hard, you know. Um, but the good far outweighs the bad. It's just, I'm like, I'm human like anybody else. And when really bad stuff happens, I want to curl up in a ball and cry and run away and camera just shut off. It was like, please stop talking. 
Uh, so anyways, yeah, all of that to say, again, just thank you guys very much, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next vlog.